Hey everyone, welcome to Software Testing Mentor and RCV Academy. Today we are here to discuss five important reasons why you're not getting job in software testing. So these are sort of key things that you need to remember whenever you are trying to apply for the job so that you get minimal rejections and your success ratio is higher. Okay, so what could be some of the reasons, right? So the first and foremost thing that you need to look is your resume and cover letter. Okay, so resume is the first and foremost thing and when we say cover letter, now cover letter is important when you are applying for job as well. So why do we say resume and cover letter are such an important factors in your job search? Because you do not get face to face without your resume or cover letter being shortlisted, right? So this is the first and foremost thing that recruiter or your employer employer or probable employer looks at for the first time and by looking at that document your resume they then shortlist right so for a particular job there might be hundreds and hundreds of applications now in those applications whichever resume and cover letter stands out is being shortlisted and that is why resume is the first interface or first thing that is seen or being noticed for yourself so if if your resume is properly made, you have provided proper details into, into the resume, it's formatted well, and then you have included the cover letter as well. Why you want to apply for that job? What are your key skills in a one page sort of a statement? And include that cover letter that will make your application stand out as compared to other applicants. Okay, so these this these two documents are the first and foremost thing that you need to look at. And and need to be really good so that they get shortlisted okay the second thing is say for example you are applying for a job then second possible reason most of the time is that you do not research well about the role or the company so the second thing is that you research and when we say research about role and company okay now why is research important research is important because you need to understand understand what organization you are applying the job and what sort of role they are looking for. So once you know that they are looking for these sort of skills, you can update your resume and cover letter accordingly. Now updating the resume and cover letter accordingly doesn't mean that you are putting false inform information in the cover letter and resume. It's basically ensuring whatever they are requiring is being highlighted into your resume and cover letter. So that's why you need to investigate or research about the role so that you can update your resume and cover letter according to the job role and then you should also know who is behind the company what the company does so that when you are being called for the interview you have a bit of information about the organization and you can talk about their organization and if there is something that you can add or once you know about the organization you can say or you can see how you as a person or how you as an employee will be able to to align to their values, mission and vision, right? So that's why this researching is important about the role and the company. Now, the third most important thing is learning the basics well. Now, many people, even if you are experienced, basics are the most important thing. So learn the software testing basics very well. Okay, learn basics well. Now, this is important because wherever you go for interviews, basics are always asked and if your basics and fundamentals are clear about the subject, about the technology, then the advanced concepts you will be able to grasp well. If your basics and fundamentals or your base itself is not strong, then figuring out the advanced details about the technology, about the software testing, about the automation is really challenging, right? So that is another very important thing that you have to ensure that the basics are well clear and you are are very clear on the basics. So start learning the software testing from a very basic and understand all the basic concepts about the software testing, how it is done, what key strategies you are there, what you will apply. So all of that. Okay. Number four is about the interviewing skills, right? So that is that comes interview skills. So it could be possible. So say for example, you have your good resume cover letter, it gets shortlisted, you have researched about the 
role and uh, you, you are all good in terms of all other aspects and you got shortlisted and you have been called for the interview but in interview you are not getting shortlisted right after you go for an interview then you are not getting shortlisted so the possible reason could be you are not able to articulate what you want to say so in that case your communication skill needs to be really strong so it's not that you should be very fluent in english and if, if you do not have very good english and you won't be able to crack the interviews it's it's just that whatever you want to say you should be clear in explaining those answers so practice how you are going to answer different sort of questions and then ensure that you are able to articulate your answers well whenever somebody is asking if you are not clear on what the question is all about you need to ask the interviewer to repeat the question so that you understand if they are asking something which requires more input from them or you need more input on that question cross question and ask more details about the question before jumping before jumping into the answer directly so that's another very important factor and this is the you know there is nothing high or low but these are some of the for example interview skills one once you reach up to the interview skill and uh, interview level then you need to have the skill so that you can crack it right so communication your research your knowledge all of that will come in picture here now within interview skills you have to look for your presentation how you are dressed up how you are presenting yourself that becomes important as well even if it is an online interview you need to be making sure that you are dressed well and you are communicating directly or making an eye contact with the interviewer while answering the question okay now the last one and these are not the only one these are the five that i have picked which i have figured out should be or, or they are the most important ones is basically your you are not very active in the community and you are not actively participating or looking for the job or you are not applying aggressively or actively in the market right so what you need to do is you need to be very active first thing in the community right so participation participation in communities okay so when we say participation in community it's software testing community and different community over the linkedin there are certain groups where you need to be active you need to update your linkedin profile and you need to be active in answering and questioning about the software testing because there are thousands and thousands of people from that community and if you start being active in linkedin people do notice that this is the person who actually asks questions question or answers based on your knowledge right so participation in community gives you an edge over other applicants because you are more visible to so big wider audience right and once you are visible then there might be a possibility that recruiter themselves reach out to you over linkedin and ask you about the role that they want to fill in so in that case you will get a good benefit if you are participating or you are active passive participant in selenium groups in automation group in manual testing group so try to be active in the community and ensure that you actually showcase your skills there as well okay now with with this participation in community i would add one more thing which is basically if you have your network or if you have your friends who are working into the testing space reference is very important now in india it's not that much important but in australia uh, and i think in new zealand and i think in new zealand it will be uh, same as well that reference works really well if you have a good network and your known contacts are in different organizations and somebody has referred you to a particular role in an organization then you are at least 60% ahead of the competition so you will be called for the interview and then it's de it depends how you perform in the interview and you are most likely to get into the job so networking and references are very important so even if you are in community try to make good network try to communicate with people try to get more details of the people so once you will start becoming active you will by default be known and your network will start growing so that you get some references so somebody from your family friends or extended contacts you will get some 
some references which is also very very important factor so these are the five very important reasons that you should be looking for to improve and once you will improve all of these i'm pretty sure that you will definitely land in job very soon okay so that's all for this particular video if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do subscribe for more videos like this and the tutorial videos that i keep posting regularly thank you very much for watching